So today, it's dinner by request. A requested stewed chicken dish with a Caribbean kick of heat and sides to cool you down. What I want to do now is just start adding some butter and oil to both of my preheated pots here. And what we're going to do is sear off the chicken. About two tablespoons of butter in here and about one in here. All right, this is going to make our gravy. And then some oil, the BFFs of any pot. They don't allow each other to overheat. Butter and oil. All right, a little in both. All eight pieces in of our entire chicken. It's going to be so good. Any meal that you wait a couple of hours for is bound to be good, right? All right, so those are in. We're going to let those sear on both sides. It's going to take about eight minutes for it to be completely done. In here, I want to go ahead and add my giblets. Giblets, like I said before, is going to be the heart, the liver, and the gizzards. So we've got all the veggies broken down. Time for some fruit. Now, I hope you notice the carrots, they're not too small, so they'll mush up and not so big that we can't eat them. Make sure that they're bite size. And this apple, just like my cider brined fried chicken, boy, do I love the sweetness of an apple on chicken. A couple of cloves of garlic are going to go in. You don't have to worry about chopping these up. Just get the chaff or the uh, skin off, smash it, and get it right in with the vegetables as well. The habanero, just gonna cut the top off. And this is so hot, it goes in whole. Do not cut it up. I'm removing my seared chicken parts out of the Dutch oven. We've got the olive oil and the butter in there, and of course, all the great grease and fat from the chicken. And to that, I'm gonna add everything I chopped up, the apples, the onions, the celery, the carrots. And don't forget the heat from the habanero, but that's not chopped up. It's in there whole. That's how potent it is. All right, and then to the giblets. Remember the gizzards, the liver, the heart, even the neck, I threw that in. About half of our onion goes in there. And what we're going to do is just work on getting these nice and tender in both of our pots so they impart some really good flavor in both the gravy and in the spiced braised chicken. All right, that's in there. What I want to do is now add a couple of bay leaves. This is great when you're doing any slow and low cooking because it's going to take some time to get all the flavor out of the bay leaf. So two of those go in, pull them out at the last second, and then some thyme. Just take a couple of sprigs of it and uh, wrap it up in some kitchen twine. All right, that goes in. So this looks like it's ready for some wine, just about a cup. We're going to deglaze and get all those nice bits off the bottom. It's going to add the flavor to our gravy later. Look at that. Now the chicken's back in. All I got to do now to finish this off is add some chicken stock. And we don't want to cover it because we want to braise this, which is low moisture. Don't cover the meat. So just have the chicken peeking out over the top. About two cups, depending really on the size of your Dutch oven. All right, that looks good right there. All right, so what I want to do is make sure this is a nice little simmer, cover it up, and this sits for almost about two hours until the meat is just falling off the bones. Now, the rest of the chicken stock is going to go in with the giblets, the flour that we cooked down with the onions, and this is going to be the base of our gravy. And speaking of gravy, before we move on, I got to tell you about a little cook secret the gravy master. I'm going to add this into the pot really quick. Now, just a little bit goes a long way. It's going to add flavor, body, color, everything you want to your gravy with all, all that roux making. <laughs> that takes time. All right, so pour that right in. I'm going to swish that around a little bit, get it all mixed in, because I really, really love a dark colored gravy. And a lot of Caribbean meals, like stewed chicken, the gravy's not only nice and dark, but the flavor's robust, and that's really going to help us out there. This is an entire chicken. I cut the white meat or the breasts in half so people don't fight over it, but you got the lovely dark meat in there. Look at our thyme all twined up. Look at that. Everyone is going to be happy with this meal.